Are you interested in learning programming but wondering how to start? Watching this video might help answer your questions. Trying to come up with an answer is often an extremely frustrating experience for most people as there are so many options, programming languages, and learning paths. One gets confused and stays confused. Even if you pick an option, you keep doubting whether you made the right choice or made a mistake. If we focus on programming and programming languages, each programming language has its own level of complexity, areas where it is more efficient in solving problems, and practical considerations like can you achieve your goals with that skill like finding a job, doing freelance projects, be your own boss, or whatever your goal is. While only you can and must do your research to find an option that matches your goals, let me introduce you to the path of web development, a path we are encouraging in this video on our channel Learn Awesome with this intro that is starting to sound like a clickbait even to myself. So enough of that, let's go over the pros and cons of choosing web development and HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React-based path using our course playlist, yet another full stack development course. First, let me go over the course, then I'll talk about the programming languages and web development ecosystem later. The course expects nothing, no background in programming or even computer science required from the person, no fancy high-end computer hardware required either. The course is in English, so proficiency in English language would be helpful unless you are trying to use subtitles and are comfortable with that. We start with basic background, history, and basic syntax, help you set up the development environment, and slowly build up your acquired knowledge layer by layer from ABC to advanced topics. All we need from you is a willingness to learn and a must requirement being that you don't just watch the videos in bed, you will follow along in our coding videos and try everything we cover on your end by hand. This is all we ask, rest you can leave to us. The course will start with HTML, which technically is not a programming language as it has no variables, conditional logic, loops, etc., which are required to classify it as a programming language. But it, coupled with CSS and JavaScript, is by far the most popular language in the tech world. You can do your own research to discover that HTML along with CSS is one of the easiest to learn compared to other programming languages has by far the biggest support ecosystem in the world. Yes, I would dare to claim that as web development is the biggest domain of them all, it has the biggest job market, it has the biggest freelance market. Everything in tech world containing the term biggest is associated with it. Internet and web development far outpace any other tech domain by miles. Well, that's wonderful. What's the catch? Well, there are so many people doing it and it's easier to learn than other programming languages. Yes, it's not a programming language like C++, C Sharp, Java, etc. But as I said earlier, this does not diminish the power of web or web development in any meaningful way. But the problem I was referring to was that there is little barrier to entry in this field compared to likes of other languages, which means competition. As big as the world of web development is, there is competition. This is why just learning HTML is no longer enough. You need to use it as a stepping stone and venture into JavaScript at minimum to have some edge in the playing field. JavaScript again has a wonderful ecosystem as evident by the picture here, which shows popularity on GitHub, which is the biggest project repository in the world for open source and other projects, as well as stackoverflow.com, which is the biggest technical discussion platform on our website. And the graph of both of these show JavaScript as the most popular and most widely used programming language compared to any other. With the advent of server-side technologies, cloud, and lately the emphasis on utilizing the computing power of client or user machine to do most of the operations via client-side frameworks like React and Angular, this has opened a ton of learning paths, and the key to all these doors is in JavaScript, which is used both on client-side and server-side technologies. Our course is designed to get you started with basic HTML, quickly get you hands-on with CSS via practice and coding videos, and slowly and gradually pull you into the world of JavaScript along the way. You would not be able to craft beautiful web pages using HTML and CSS-based styling. You would be equally proficient in writing server-side technologies and client-side frameworks like React to write what is known as web applications which involve web pages with client-side scripting and server-side handling with APIs, databases, and all. This is a full stack course, and we aim to get you proficient in the full stack of web app technologies, where you should be able to handle any challenge that comes your way. To architect, design, deploy, containerize, and analyze entire web applications spanning multiple machines and cloud environments. All that with zero experience required, 
only the willingness to learn and getting your hands tired coding. Welcome to yet another full stack development course on Learn Awesome. 